the world's first robot capable of mimicking the emotions of a real child has been developed. Japan has developed hyper-realistic 3D masks that allow people to try on another person's face. NTT demonstrated the interaction between artificial intelligence and robots. American scientists have developed micro-robots made from human cells that can regenerate damaged tissue within the human body. These and other high-tech news in this video. Japanese Robotics, startup TMSUK, in collaboration with a local dental school, has developed the Pedioroid robot capable of mimicking a real child's reaction to dental procedures. This allows students to prepare for the challenges they will face in the future. Through a tablet programmed with various medical conditions, signals are sent to air cylinders installed in the robot's joints and facial actuators, simulating physical reactions and corresponding facial expressions. According to TMSUK's Director of Engineering, the machine can simulate emergency conditions such as seizures and heart failure, enabling trainees to gain important experience in such critical situations. He emphasizes the importance of this training, as there is currently a lack of acceptable clinical dental preparation for treating children. Currently, Pedioroid is being sold at a substantial price of about $195,568. Engineers plan to enhance the hyper-realistic robot so that professionals from other childcare sectors can use it to train for interaction in various types of emergency situations. Japan has developed hyper-realistic 3D masks that allow people to try on another person's face. Tokyo-based store Kamenya Omote, specializing in party props, theatrical, and film projects, has started producing three-dimensional masks that mimic the human face. These hyper-realistic models allow people to literally try on the appearance of a stranger. You can distinguish masks printed on a 3D printer from a real face only by motionless lips and a frozen gaze. Thanks to a special technology, a high-resolution image of a person is evenly placed on the plastic surface of the model. Store owner Shuhai Okawara mentioned that since the launch of the project, he has received several thousand requests from people willing to provide their portraits for mask production. The product appeared on the shelves of Kaminya Omote in the spring of 2021, and the cost of a mask is approximately $950. The Japanese entrepreneur is confident that despite the high price, the masks will be in demand as they have already generated significant interest among buyers. In the future, the store owner plans to diversify the lineup by using photos of people from different ethnic groups for model production. The store owner clarifies that he is not the first to venture into creating hyper-realistic masks, but is capable of establishing mass production, producing about 100 identical models per month. Many people want to have a copy of their own face, and we receive financial support from them to develop the project, says Okawara. He doesn't find the masks frightening and does not believe they pose a threat. In the future, facial replication could become a common phenomenon. It would be interesting, for example, to preserve the appearance of one one's youth or change one's face at will, emphasizes the owner of Kaminya Omote. NTT demonstrated the interaction between a large-scale language model artificial intelligence called T. Suzumi and humanoid robots at the company's conducted event. The essence of human-robot interaction is to control the physical work of robots with sensory feedback using the large-scale language model T. Suzumi while preparing various dishes such as pasta, grilled fish, salad, ice cream, and more. When a person asks the robot to create a healthy dining table, the artificial intelligence selects a menu that aligns with the request. In other words, the robot autonomously analyzes that ice cream may not be suitable for the person at the moment, while a salad would be a better choice. This demonstrates that the large-scale language model T. Suzumi understands, evaluates elements of dishes in the queue, selects the best option, and places it on the table. All of this indicates that a breakthrough in the interaction between artificial intelligence and robots is imminent. The Japanese company Shimizu, which has developed the world's smallest and lightest electric scooter called Arma, weighing only 4.5 kilograms. The prototype, available on Kickstarter, folds in 30 seconds using multiple hinges, not just one, making it compact and convenient for carrying a backpack or bag. When folded, its dimensions are comparable to an A4 sheet. A 3.5 ampere hour lithium battery powers a 250 watt motor, providing a range of 11 to 14.5 kilometers. The maximum speed is 24 kilometers per 
per hour. Arma promises to be a convenient means of transportation for urban commuting, especially when it comes to using public transport, navigating through multi-story offices, or shopping. It features a rare function among folding electric scooters of any size, the ability to quickly replace a depleted battery with a new one. Arma includes accelerator and brake buttons on the handlebars, as well as a central display for indicators such as speed and autonomy. It can support a person weighing up to 100 kilograms. In the Japanese capital, a strange cafe, Hina Cafe, has opened, where a robot prepares coffee for visitors. It takes the robot, named Sawyer, from two to four minutes to make one cup of coffee. Sawyer can prepare up to five cups simultaneously, but in such cases, it operates a bit more slowly. Visitors place their orders through a special terminal, receive a receipt with a QR code, and show it to the robot. The publication notes that Sawyer can replace four to five cafe employees, allowing establishment owners to save on salaries. The cafe is owned by the Tokyo-based tourist tourism agency HIS. The agency also owns a chain of hotels where some tasks are performed by robots. We have studied customer feedback and plan to open such cafes throughout the country, said a representative of the agency to the publication. Japan's population is aging, and the automation of work is not just a whim of the most advanced part of the elite, but a way to stimulate economic growth. The statistics indicate that, on average, a dishwasher in a commercial establishment works just over a month. That's why jobs like this one, along with similar ones, should be automated first. This is precisely what the startup Dishcraft Robotics is focused on. Teaching a robot to wash dishes as a human does is a challenging task, but engineers have managed to find an innovative compromise for an automated system that looks quite promising. Let's move on to other news. The new approach developed by American scientists is planned to be used in personalized regenerative medicine for the restoration of various types of tissue damage. The technology operates through the natural functions of the biobot cells, as well as a specific process of their cultivation. A team of researchers from Tufts University has engineered tiny robots made from human cells capable of repairing damaged tissue. In initial experiments, these biobots, or as scientists call them anthrobots, successfully fully restored damage to a layer of neurons. To create the anthrobot, human tracheal cells were used and cultivated in a gel for two weeks. During the third week, cell cultivation took place in a less viscous solution, causing tiny hair-like structures on the cells, cilia, to move outward instead of inward. As a result, these cilia acted like oars, propelling the cells in straight or chaotic trajectories. Soon, several anthrobots were placed in a petri dish on the damaged layer of neural tissue. Surprisingly, they quickly merged into a unified structure, and within three days, the damaged tissue was completely restored result the scientists did not expect. According to them, by combining various cell types and exploring other stimuli, anthrobots could be developed to perform more complex functions, such as tissue construction or exploration. For example, they could be used for artery cleaning, drug delivery, and many other purposes. Write in the comments what you think about these new generation technologies. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos See you next time.